Welcome, agents. Washington DC brings with it both new and returning dangers. Curious to find out who and what is out there waiting for you? You will be briefed on the hostile threats that await you in DC. Currently, eight factions are roaming the capital, with four fighting for dominance of the city. The brief will shortly get into who they are, who their leaders are, and what you can expect in terms of resistance. This brief stays on the surface as in-depth faction-specific briefs will be introduced later. Raiders are encountered at the start in a settlement outside Washington DC, possibly Maryland. Although unconfirmed, the raiders bear the same insignia as the hyenas we have seen, leading us to believe they are either hyenas or a correlated faction. Their ranks consist of two archetypes, Assault and Snipers. Any other strategic data is corrupted, meaning that's all we know on the raiders. They appear unorganized and mostly taking advantage of the anarchy. It's unknown if they are under the leadership of an individual or share similar leaders with the hyenas. Hiding in the darkness of DC's underground sewer system, these cultists mostly stay underground, except when it's nighttime. Although unconfirmed, they appear leaderless, mostly patrolling the sewers, looking for anyone that's in the wrong place at the wrong time. Unorganized as they are, they have a clear ranking in terms of archetypes. Assault, rushers, throwers and tanks. They appear almost medieval as they use basic assault rifles, throwing knives, a toxic gas that drains your health immediately and chainsaws. Their armor mostly consists of metal plating, cloth and chains. Although at first sight the ambushers may appear similar to the underground faction we just talked about, they're an independent faction. Not much is known about them as encounters are very rare and very few live to tell it. Strategically placed tripwires catch any victim of guard, blinding them in the process. Then they ambush their targets, quickly striking with deadly blows. Their ranks consist of assault and rushers. Similarly to the underground, they appear almost medieval as they use axes, trash can lids as shields and compound bows. Their outfits seem to be constructed from gathered clothing and garbage, always wearing hoods or caps, sunglasses and bandanas. A loosely organized gang of opportunistic raiders that prey on struggling civilian encampments through violence and intimidation. These hedonistic scavengers take everything they can steal and destroy everything else to deprive their enemies of valuable resources. The hyenas are led by a council of the strongest pack leaders. The primary targets are Coyote, Diesel, Dime, Mayhem, Roach and Zodiac. Their ranks consist of the Assault, Thrower, Rusher, Controller, Shield, Medic, Engineer and Tank. Hyenas are through anarchist and can be recognized by their riot gear and green body paint, corresponding with their logo. They are aggressive in their behavior, often charging in without any use of cover. This recklessness can be explained by their use of the drug Spice. Bitter survivors of a forced quarantine bent on revenge against those who brutally imprisoned them and the society that stood by and let it happen. Their charismatic, bloodthirsty leader Emmeline Shaw believes everyone is complicit and urges her followers to punish the guilty by spreading sickness and murdering indiscriminately. Your primary target is Emmeline Shaw. She's an asymptomatic carrier of the virus who is hellbent on destroying those who betray her. Similarly to the hyenas, their ranking system is larger than the aforementioned factions with the assault, thrower, rusher, controller, support, scorcher, sniper, heavy weapons and tank. Outcasts can be recognized by their yellow bandanas and clothing. Using suicide bombers, flamethrowers and RC cars with serrated blades, these bastards are looking for the most brutal ways to make your death as painful as possible. A group of military warlords bent on using their combat expertise and overwhelming firepower to dominate their enemies and expand their territory. Smart and organized, the True Sons are led by a former JTF officer, whose ruthlessness and combat prowess make him and his combatants a horrifying force. Primary target here is Colonel Antoine Ridgway, a JTF officer angered by the betrayal of the JTF. Their ranks are made up of the following archetypes. Assault, Thrower, Rusher, Engineer, Medic, 
Immobilizer, Heavy Weapons, RPG, Sniper and Tank. The True Sons can be recognized by their beige paramilitary gear and weapons. Apart from their rushers, the True Sons make smart use of cover and tactically try to force their targets out of cover or try to flank them. A secretive private military organization that operates on an unknown agenda. They are disciplined and highly organized and their unparalleled equipment makes them the biggest threat the division has ever faced. Their primary objective is to neutralize the division and take control of Washington DC. The Black Tusk Special Unit or BTSU is comprised of elite soldiers that have a long history of working with the US government. Each archetype has a specific role with their ranks consisting of the Assault, Thrower, Rusher, Controller, Medic, Warhound, Sniper, Tank and Lieutenant. The Black Tusk can be identified by their black military clothing and high-tech equipment. As they are highly trained soldiers with a great deal of combat expertise, they will use their technology to get the edge on you or flank you to get a proper angle to take you out. Seemingly migrated from Manhattan, there is one faction, if you can consider it a faction, that is truly mysterious. Hunters are the most dangerous hostiles you will run into. As we know absolutely nothing about them, any strategic data is unknown, meaning we're unsure what motivates them and what brought them to DC. What we do know is that they hunt down division agents, but only eliminate specific targets. They appear leaderless and without ranking, as each hunter is a specialized unit on its own. Their gear and skill trump that of any agent, often capable of using shade tech, skills and an EMP and shock to disable agents and their skills. Rumors have confirmed 13 hunters in DC, 12 with unique masks and one who was hunting Agent Andrew Edwards. Any details will be discussed in the Hunter Brief. This brings it to a total of 8 hostile factions. Each has their own origins, motivations, leaders and archetypes and that's what we'll go in depth on in the following faction briefs. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the faction brief, I would like to ask you to like or dislike, share, subscribe and click the notification bell to become part of the Masterminds HD community and notification squad. On top of that, you can follow me on Twitter for daily updates and join my Discord if you're looking for an engaged community that revolves around Tom Clancy Division 1 and 2. Both links are in the description. Visit my Patreon page through the link in the description if you're interested in the intel briefs on each faction with summarized information from the video. To end the video, I have a question for you. What is in your opinion the most interesting and perhaps the most lethal faction? Leave your answer in the comment section down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. I'll talk to you in the next video on Discord or on Twitter. Peace out.